remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? An investigation is underway after Houston Independent School District staff members at James Madison High School were caught on camera twerking, making it rain, and drum roll, please, prancing around in lingerie. It all went down on the school's campus. Administrative officials were quick to add that the party happened after the kids were no longer at the school. So they said it was some type of team building party. That's what they were going for. <laughs> team building. Man, what was those type of parties when I was in school? When I was in school, I don't I don't remember team building parties like that. We would have caught a wind of that because the students even back then were pretty close to the teachers, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, though, one of the biggest problems is they're hiring these teachers way too young. A lot of these teachers are doing the exact same thing their students are doing. So it's no surprise when you find out that a teacher is having sexual relations with a student. They're interested in the same thing. You know, provocative pictures on IG, flashing money, turning up. The teacher's doing the same thing. Not a surprise. I'm not surprised one bit. Now, some parents were caught off guard, and I'll drop a, a link to the video in the description. Some of the parents were caught off guard because a few months ago, the principal, Carlotta Brown, implemented a dress code for the parents. She said she was Sick and tired of the parents showing up with rollers in their heads and flip-flops and pajamas and gowns and <laughs> house coats or whatever, all this inappropriate stuff. So she implemented a dress code. And some people took offense to it. I thought it was a good idea. Just as I think it would be a good idea for those teachers who participated in that party, any staff members who participated in that party. It wasn't clear if there was teachers involved. It was just said that there were staff members. So we don't know if they were teachers or other personnel that worked at the school. But whoever was involved that was a member of the staff should be reprimanded. I don't think they should lose their jobs, though. But they should be reprimanded. I think that Discipline uh, rules should be consistent. Rules should be consistent. Discipline and punishment should be consistent. And that goes for the students, the parents, and the staff. You got to be consistent or else no one will respect the rules. Kind of like what's happening right now in the United States of America. Nobody respects the rules because they're not consistent with crime and punishment. The rules are inconsistent. You know, who gets to break the rules? That's inconsistent. So you have this um, mad society. Get you a Donald Trump out of the deal. But anyway, what say you? In my opinion, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.